Welcome back. Former USM Football Hall of Famer began as a starting safety, but made his mark as a kicker. Excelling in all areas of athletics, Southern Miss has captured national titles in football twice and once in track and field. Holding two Conference USA championships, the Golden Eagles baseball team has also traveled to the College World Series and men's basketball it appeared in the NCAA tournament three times. Notable alumni include former NFL quarterback Brett Favre and punter Ray Guy. As the only punter to be nominated into the NFL Hall of Fame, Ray Guy is more than just a prominent alumni. He's a living legend. A man of his word, Guy turned down a place in Major League Baseball because of a promise to Southern Miss. Uh, had an opportunity to go straight into the uh, Cincinnati organization down in Florida from high school, but I didn't. And the reason I didn't was because I had already signed the scholarship with Southern. Uh, if you say you're going to do something, you go ahead and do it. And I had already signed that, that scholarship, so I just said, hey, look, I'm going to play football. I'm going to play baseball, too. Guy's the only punter to be taken in the first round of the NFL draft. Guy went on to hold many records at Southern Miss, including being one of only four players to pitch a no-hit game. Over 80 All-Americans call Southern Miss their collegiate home. Going by the name of the Southerners, the Yellow Jackets, and even the Normal Whites, Southern Miss Athletics officially adopted the name Golden Eagles in 1972. But the original colors, voted on by the class of 1912, black and gold, have remained the same. Reporting for Hub City TV, this is Brittany Payne. In our next story, we take a look back at USM Baseball Conference season opener. The Eagles began the weekend on point here at Pete Taylor Park with the win with 2-0 over the Cougars. But today's game ended the Conference USA action 2-1. Student Will Quinn gives head coach Scott Berry credit for his accomplishments. I really like what, watching the product that Scott Berry's put on the field each year. and I think we're young this year, but we got a good chance of doing some great things here in the future. And just look forward to see what they have in store. And Sundays, that means immediately following today's game, get to run the bases. Thanks to sponsors like Academy Sports, the kids get to enjoy a few moments on the field as well. Head coach Scott Berry says the weekend started out great, but the outcome was different from expected. You know, early on, uh, of course, we had it right where we wanted. Uh, we hit it with double play in the first inning. We put the momentum back on their side. And then they hit us with the sixth spot there in the top of the second. And, uh, you know, with that momentum, I felt like the heat really settled in. We got a breaking ball going, which was really good. Although the Eagles suffered a 10-5 loss, Junior Blake Brown's home run was the highlight of the game. Members of a local fraternity pedal coast to coast for a worthy cause. Our Leslie Nash brings us the story. Four Pi Kappa Phi members from the University of Southern Mississippi are rigorously training for the Journey of Hope, a 4,000-mile trek across country to raise awareness for people with disabilities. The cyclists agree that this is not only about the ride, but also about the people they will touch on this journey. The bike is just a means of transportation, but we're really doing this we're doing this for them. The cyclists also agree that it is a privilege to be representatives for the Push America organization and be a part of the journey of hope. I've always thought uh, it would be important to me just to give back to mankind, do something that's, uh, that I think is bigger than myself. For the members of Pi Kappa Phi, it's not only about the journey across the nation. It's about these friendship visits where they get to meet people with disabilities and help them. It's just a time that we can interact with the people with disabilities and so whether it's playing a game of wheelchair basketball or you know having a dance with them or you know doing a puppet show or just you know really just having a one-on-one -on -one conversation um, that's where, where the real impact comes. 
During friendship visits, the cyclists will donate grants and participate in community events. Cyclist Robert Smith says the experience will be a new and exciting one. A really big learning experience for me. Uh, I'm going to be spending an entire summer away from my family, away from anywhere that I've known, um, in all different cities with different people, and also adapting to other people's disabilities. Each member of the cycling team is prepared for the 65-day journey and knows that the lives they touch will make the training and preparation worth it. For Hub City TV, I'm Leslie Nash.